Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Networkings. Now we are going to see how to configure the DHCP from basic to high level. Before that, what we are going to cover in this video is what is DHCP, benefit of DHCP, how DHCP is assigning the IP address like DORA process. Finally, we will see in the live demo using simulation in that we are going to configure the DHCP two ways using dedicated server, another one is using router. Let's get started. All right, we should know the basics before going technically so that it will give us to understand the concept easy and a simple way. So we will see what is DHCP from basics. So DHCP stands for dynamic force to configuration protocol. DHCP is a networking protocol used to dynamically assigning an IP address to any device or any nodes. This automation process prevents the manual assignment of IP address not only IP address, DHCP also provides subnet mask, default gateway, DNS and other configuration. DHCP is having two ports, 67 and 68. 67 using in the server and 68 using in the client end. And the DHCP is a UDP protocol. Why it is UDP protocol is UDP it support multicast. So, and we have two version in UD DHCP, DHCP version 4, DHCP version 6. So version, what is version 4 is, so version 4 will support IPv4 address and version 6 will support IPv6 address. Benefits of the DHCP. DHCP offers several benefits for network management. Automatic IP assignment. DHCP automatically assign and manage the IP address within the network. This reduces the human effort for a network administrator to manually assigning IP address. Dynamic reuse of IP address. DHCP reassign IP addresses when device is disconnected from the network. When new device is connected in the network, DHCP will reuse of IP address. Also, enable the network to use the limited number of addresses to support the large number of devices. Reduce the network complexity. Just assume network administrator is assigning an IP address manually to 10 devices is possible. 20 devices is possible. If it is a large scale of number, large number of devices there in the network, it is not possible to assign the manually for the network administrator, right? So reducing this one, DHCP simplify the network administrating using some software or tool we can say. So like info blocks solar winds in that we can manage the task and manage the client requirement for the large number of numbers of client or frequently changing the client configuration Support for multiple subnets dhcp can work with the network routers to assign ip address across multiple subnets make it easier to manage large number of networks network configuration changes and update there is a needed to change the network configuration for all clients on the network example changing the ip address or dns server or if you want to change the subnets it can be done centralized on the dhcp server without needing any individual configuration for the each client so if any changes happening in the organization and if any manual interaction is needed is no from using DHCP, we can do everything in the centralized server. So this is the benefit. There are some more benefit we have. Easy for scaling. DHCP allow for easy network scaling as your network goes. If uh, let's say if some network is growing, if you're adding new subnets or you are establishing the some branches. So whenever we are adding the new requirement, whenever we are adding the new subnet, whenever we are adding the new network, so that can be easily handled in the DHCP efficiently. So making this process to adding the new devices smooth and efficient. DORA process is the key parameter in the DHCP. The DORA process is a sequence of the event in the DHCP. So the abbreviation of DORA is discover, offer, request, acknowledgement. So we will see in the detail way how the DORA process is happening, how the IP address is assigning to the client using server. So just assume this is a say DHCP server. This is a say DHCP client as like a, we are connecting laptop to the RJ45 cable. So we should know how the IP address is assigning, right? So first I will tell you in the technically, then I will just tell you in the uh, understandable format. So the technically is first is client will send the discover message to the server. Okay. So the client broadcasts a discovery message on the network to search the DHCP server. 
So once the DHCP server receive the request, so what it will be do is the DHCP server receive the discovery broadcast from the client and response with the DHCP offer, including IP address, subnet mask, and lease and other configuration. Then client will send the request um, the client sends a dhcp request back to the server indicating that the intent of used offer ip addresses then server will send the client acknowledgement server responds back the dhcp act, act means acknowledgement confirming that the client has received a lease of ip address and specific amount of time so i will tell you i will tell you in the understandable format so when we are connecting to the dhcp client using cable right so we need ip address so what we need i need to find out the server where the server is there so discovery is the small uh, like it's a normal word discovery means we are finding something right so system is finding the where the dhcp server is there so this is the first one offer means when the dhcp receive the server from the client so this the the dhcp server will give offer so what offer it will be give is he will the dhcp server work is he want to give the ip address subnet mask gateway dns is the responsible for the dhcp server right so that is the job of the dhcp server so that will be done in the here so when the client receive this offer details like ip address subnet mask gateway etc etc it will be assigned into the ipv4 address in the option so then it will send the message hey i have received your message i have assigned the ip address to my system then finally tcp server will send the acknowledgement okay all right i have given the required details to you so you can good to go kind of a thing in this way the dora process helps in my dynamic ip configuration and save a lot of manual effort in assigning and managing ip address in your network so let's jump into the simulation to see how to configure the dhcp using dedicated server and dedicated router let's start that so now we will see the dhcp configuration step by step before going that i will just walk through the setup first so just assume this is the branch office in this branch office, this pcs are connected this pc to get the communication we need ip address for that we are going to use the dedicated server this dedicated server just assume it is located into the data center some corporate office this is the branch office just assume in this way so this is one setup the another one is this is directly going to use the dhcp using this router in top of that i just want to one more point this is the recommended model and this is not the recommended model okay or we can say recommended design not recommended design why i am saying this is not recommended design is it just just assume this router why we are using is already routing the traffic to connect to two different networks and to to connect the van kind of thing and that in top of that we are using for the acl etc etc so for those things for those kind of purpose if you're using dhcp again okay so obviously the router utilization will get high so we will get the performance we will the the router performance will get affected okay so that is the reason always the recommended model is this one this is not the recommended order however where this kind of setup might use is when the requirement is very less and the less number of office or the less very small setup instead of using the investor in, in, instead of investing the dhcp server we want to use as a dhcp using this router means for those kind of requirement this model or this kind of a design will fit okay so i will just walk through i will just tell you the how the setup is there the setup is not i have done i will configure the quickly before that i'm just explaining this is the router and this router interface is giga ethernet 0 slash 1 ethernet 0 slash 0 and this ip address is 192.162.1 this is 1.1 we are going to use slash 24 subnet okay this is the dedicated dhcp server the server ip address 192.162.1 and same way for this server this router ip address and interface okay so let's start the dhcp configuration this router i just configured the ip address of this interface and this interface and instead of that nothing configuration is done i will just quickly show you here show ip interface brief so giga ethernet 0 slash 0 is ip address is 192.162.1 so same ip address this 0 slash 1 and ip address is 1 slash 1 so same way okay so now we are going to configure the dhcp server so for that we need to go to services go to this is for dhcp version 4 and version 6 version 6 for ipv6 this is for version 4 we are going to use version 4 so going to this option click service on 
so pool name we can give any name or we can keep it as it is so we will keep it as it is so default gateway we need to give this one 192.168.1.1 1 .1 because that is the system default gateway right this system default gateway is this one so we need to give this one 192.168.1.1 1 .1. and the dns is 8.8.8 .8 ip address now we need to give 192.168.0 one slash zero subnet mask we need to give 255 255 255 because we are using slash 24 so just save done if you see here this configuration is done now we need to set up the ip address for this server right so go to desktop config click this one so we need to give 192.168.2.10 is the server ip address right so we need to this one just paste this one so default gateway is 2.1 is the default gateway of this one all right now going to this pc okay ip now if you click dhcp it is happening that discover is happening but actually if you see the ip will not get the it means dhcp ip will not receive it is failing right it is getting apipa ip address so i will explain why it is happening so how i'm going to explain is i will just make it simulation going to static simulation so i will explain why why it is happening okay so click dhcp okay now click this one start see what actually what it, exactly it's happening is this pc is sending the dhcp discovery message okay it is going to the switch now switch will send this request to the all connected interface if you see here it is sending to the because it's kind of a broadcast message but you know one thing switch will do the broadcast but actually router does not send the mean does not forward the broadcast so what happening i will just stop this simulation real time i will make it. so what happening exactly is this pc sending discovery dhcp discovering message to this switch switch is sending means switch is broadcasting the dhcp message to the all the interface including the router interface but router does not forward the dhcp request right so that is the reason that request is not going to the dhcp server and system is not getting the ip address so this is the back background of the issue so to fix that what we need to is we need to go to this interface we need to tell this router hey if you are getting dhcp request don't discard instead of that forward the request to this server so next time if any request happen the system will receive the ip address so that i'm going we are going to do so for that we need to go to configuration terminal interface then we need to go to 0 slash 1 because this is the interface 0 slash 1 right then we need to give ip helper addresses so which address we need to give is dhcp server ip address so dhcp server ip address is 192.168.2.10 right now hit enter done okay now if you go to any pc ip dhcp now we will get the ip address now actually exactly what it will be happen is this discover request message will send to this router this send to this pc and from there we will get the ip address actually we supposed to get uh, I'm, I'm expecting this one the issue see yes why it is happening see if you see here actually we have given 192.168.1.1 1 .1 in initially but it is changing to this ip address so that is the reason because this is kind this is packet tracer right so due to some bug it is happening so now i'm going to change ip address is 1 slash 0 so just click save if you expand now now 192.168.1.1 1 .1, 1 slash 0 okay if if you are trying in packet tracer if you are experiencing the same issue you just uh, do the same thing it will be work for you as well now going back to the same pc okay clicking static now clicking dhcp it will get ip address see it is getting ip address so we will try for this pc2 as well dhcp this ip this pc also will receive the ip address from the dhcp okay now we will do the dhcp configuration using router the steps are very simple i'm going to configure the ip address to this interface so going to the router configuration terminal interface gigaartana 0 slash 0 is the ip interface then we need to give the ip address so ip address is 255 255 255 subnet mask then no shut 
to bring up the interface so this is done now we need to create the dhcp pool so ip dhcp pool we can give any name i'm just going to give simple networking networkings then we need to give the network so network is we need to give the same one so just give 255255255.1 so 192.168.10.0 then subnet mask then default gateway we need to give so default gateway is as usual 10.1 is the default gateway then we need to give dns 8.8.8.8 done the configuration is done okay so write memory now going to the pc ip address if you click the ip address if you click the dhcp the ip address see the dhcp is getting assigned okay so i th i will show you one more thing so as i said the dhcp is having to a port number one is 6768 right so i will show you in the simulation quickly dhcp requesting ip address as i said dhcp is a udp protocol and the port number would be 68 and 67 right so 67 in the server and this is in the client end okay so we have configured the dhcp with the using dedicated server and using the router so thank you for watching this video thank you for watching this video if you like to add any points regarding this topic please feel free to write the comments in the comment box it will be great help for the other audience please like this video and subscribe to our channel and if you have any please drop the email once again thank you for watching we will meet in the next video bye